Boxing King Media in association with Boxer. Delighted to have with me uh, the great trainer from the United States of America, Ronnie Shields. Ronnie, great to see you here in the UK. Firstly, how are you? How was the journey here? The journey was great and uh, I'm doing great. I'm glad the sun's out today. It has been raining over the last week or so, so thank you for bringing the sun with you. Absolutely. <laughs> You've got your charge, Philip Hergovic, uh, on the undercard of Anti Joshua's ring return. Before we get into the fight with Dempsey McKean, um, were you close to being that opponent for Anti Joshua? Were there any conversations? Uh, I mean, that's why they brought me out here. <laughs> you know, they brought me out here so we can see if we mesh together. But the problem was they wanted me to come to train him here, and I couldn't. You know, I'm just too busy in the States, too many fighters, and I just couldn't do it. In terms of Philip being the IBF mandatory, right. he gets the winner of Usyk and Dubois later this year. Was he willing to risk that by jumping in a fight with Anti Joshua with a week's notice? No one has asked, I don't think anyone asked him to fight uh, Joshua. So, I mean, but Philip is a fighter, he would fight anybody, so it, did, it wouldn't have made a difference to him. Would he have, do you think he would have risked that though, that mandatory situation, or, or would that have been made up with the financial reward of fighting anti Joshua at the same time? Well, you know, look, my guy's a very confident fighter, so he's confident he could beat anybody. So, you know, it, it wouldn't have mattered either way. I think if, the, if, the, if they would have approached and say, hey, you know, this is the fight, he would have said yes. How does he get on with Dempsey McKean on Saturday night? Say it again? Sorry. How does he get on with undefeated Dempsey McKean on Saturday night? Hey, you know, the, we, we, we've been training hard. We've been studying hard. You know, uh, <clears throat> the game plan is in play. And we just got to, you know, stick with the game plan. And, and we're very confident that uh, he's going to beat Dempsey McKean. Just moving away from this last week, we saw a fantastic fight in, in, in Las Vegas with uh, Terence Crawford and Errol Spence. Just want to get your reaction to Terence's victory and the, and, the, and the manner of victory, and, because everyone expected this to be a 50-50. Yeah, I mean, I was expecting a 50-50 fight. And, you know, but just looking at both resumes, you know, that's all you can come up with. You know, it was hard to pick a clear winner just from what each guy has done. But obviously, Terence Crawford, you know, was the better fighter. And he came out with a better game plan. And, you know, he won the fight. So, you know, it's no excuses, no nothing. You know, it just, it is what it is. Tevis Cross was, was the better fighter that night. Some people were suggesting that Errol looked quite depleted at 147. Floyd Mayweather did an interview and he said, Errol shouldn't be anywhere near 147 or 154. In, in, in fact, 160 or 168. What are, your, what are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, I've been on Errol a long time. And he's not that big of a guy. But, you know, I, I understand that he probably outgrew welterweight division. And I agree that maybe he should have been at 154. But, look, he, he felt good that he could make 147. And it's not an excuse. He lost to the better fighter. Should he, should he take the rematch? Absolutely. Look, he's a fighter. That's what fighters do. You know, they challenge themselves. So if he feels he can do better at 154, he would definitely should fight him at 154. Where do you rank Terence Crawford after that victory? Pound for pound, number one in the world. You've got your eye on, obviously, the winner of Usyk and Dubois. Um, how do you see that fight playing out? You know what? Usyk is a hard guy to fight. You know, and if you not actually prepared to fight Usyk, you know, then there's no sense in getting in that ring. You know, like, you have to do a lot of studying to fight Usyk. And, you know, we, we can't think about Usyk right now because we got others in front of, in front of that. But, you know, I'm sure Dua and his people have done all the studying they need to do. And we just have to wait and see what happens. OK, Ronnie, appreciate a little bit of your time. All the best on Saturday night. And, uh, yeah, we'll hopefully catch up with you after the show. Thank you very much. Ronnie Shields, Boxing King Media, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.